Alright, hey guys, it's Thief Cat here, and welcome back to another part in our Fallout 3 walkthrough slash let's play. Last episode we came here, found the family, did some conversing, failed a speech check, so now in order to gain Vance's trust slash acceptance, we need to go to the terminals and learn the laws. Wait, what is that? What is that? Open, toy, are we hidden? Yeah, whatever. I lost karma. Big whoop. Give me that real quick. Sorry. Thank you for that. Man, just sinful what I'm doing, really. Just absolutely sinful. Oh, I need that. Thank you. Oh, me that too. Sometimes troubles we have. It seems impossible to Oh, come on now, Vance. Okay, sorry about that detour, guys. Just uh, had some stuff that we had, we had to steal. We'll go right back at it, actually, with these terminals. Okay, there's that. There are, of course, the ravens, those anarchistic ruffians who roam the wastes, preying on any and all steel murder. The so called Brotherhood of Steel, no people, by their pseudo nightly nonsense or supposed connections to the United States Army. These power armored Boy Scouts are nothing more than common criminals with access to some antiquated technology. Criminals who have had the audacity to claim this country's most important military installation as their own personal clubhouse and open Those who have left the Brotherhood of Steel, branded outcasts, are just as dangerous. Even more so, they in exile. And what about the slavers of Paradise Falls? Frightening me. And last but not least, the hideously mutated super mutants. Okay, well, we, uh. I mean, he did say he wanted us to talk to everybody else, but I kind of already did that. But we'll see if he accepts the terminal. You, you wish to speak to me again? Indeed. Tell me what you've learned from the laws. What do you think we are? Do you think I believe I can turn into a bat and fly away? Of course not. Do I cast my image in a mirror? Absolutely. Now, ask me if I believe these individuals from every corner of the wasteland need me to give them a sense of purpose and identity. I have shown these people the ways of the vampire. I've provided them shelter, organization, and a sense of belonging. Now, you disappoint me. You need to open your mind and think for a moment before you pass judgment. I have reined in their cravings and taught them to eat not of the flesh, but to drink of the blood. Most importantly, they have a family. A place where their quirks are tolerated and understood. You are free to roam the common area of our home as our guest. Wait, what am I doing? You wish to speak to- We gotta talk about Ian. Ah, yes. My newest charge. What would you want with him? Then a part of his human family still remains? Even more of a reason he needs to remain in isolation. Ian is at a critical moment in his life right now. After all that occurred in Erafu, he is scared and confused. It would be ill-advised for me to allow you to speak to him while he decides what he wants to do. Ian's hunger for flesh overwhelmed him. It drove him to kill his parents. 
Because of my intervention that night, he stopped just short of being lost forever to his cravings for flesh. I am telling you, he will no longer be labeled as such. He has become one of us, a member of the family. The hunger that drives us must be kept in check. It is one of the most difficult things to teach. Yen lost control because no one was around to guide him. His own family was alien to him. No. God damn it. It would not be right to disturb him in this time of meditation. I am sorry, but I cannot allow it. Alright. We're gonna go scene anyway. It's been real. Get in here, you know, get your ass in here, come on. Don't you don't you fucking open that. Oh, here we go. Okay, there we go, we got it. Took me long enough. Oh wait, these are the base of uh, his five laws. Got too much stuff, so we're gonna do quietly. God damn it. What's the weight three? Weight seven? Weight zero five? Oh, we're gonna start dropping a little bit, boys. Oh, it's just you, man. You scared the shit out of me. I'm not gonna lie. No, don't switch for targets. We're just here chilling. Sword cabinet locked hard. Okay. Okay, I see how it is. Blood pack, purified water, stim pack. And I actually do need this bobby pin. Password to Ian's room. Oh, hey, Ian. What's up, man? Huh? Good to see you. How'd you get in here? Yeah, whatever. Huh? What do you want? You don't, uh, you don't sound the way you look. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I'm sure Evan King is pretty pissed right about now. I bet he has the entire town out looking for me. He's worse than my parents. You think I don't know that? You think I don't know what I did? Then you must think I'm some kind of a monster. A little bit. A little bit. There's something inside me, something completely messed up. I'm a mutant, a fucking freak. The only person I was ever able to talk to was my sister Lucy, and she's gone. No one gives a shit about me except Vance and the family. Can't you understand that? Well, you see, I have this thing here, and this letter's insurance, in case I fail this speech check. No. All right, fine then. I clicked over that because it was that dumb. Here's the letter. Take it, you fucker. She... She really misses being home, and she's asked about me in here a lot. I think I had it all wrong. I shouldn't have come here. I bet Lucy is feeling just as bad as me. Please, tell Vance I've made my decision. I'm going home to Arfu. I hope to see you there as well. I'm just gonna gather my stuff together and say my goodbyes, then I'll head on back.
It appears we have a lot to speak about. I hear that you decided to speak to Ian regardless of my warnings. Be that as it may, I am still interested in what you conversed about. Did he come to a decision? As long as you maintain this level of civility, please proceed. Curious. Many years ago, I survived by drinking from fresh blood packs I recovered from hospital ruins. The problem was that these blood packs were scarce. What do you propose? So basically, this is where we reach kind of the impasse or the ending of the quest. You could have it where the family defends Arifu for blood packs and then leave them alone. Uh, Arifu donates blood packs and in exchange they protect them. Or they'll sell them blood packs and they'll leave town. Although I appreciate what you are trying to do, please read what little money Carl makes with... I am so as you can see you try that bottom option does not work so you know you have one of these two options to pick from uh the bet i think uh better karma will give you this one i believe agreed please take this proposal to arafu speak with them and then return to me with their decision i thank you for showing me that your kind can be trusted after all it is a lesson i will not forget now what of young ian tell me his decision It saddens me to lose one of my flock, but I believe everyone has to follow their own path. All I was attempting to do was guide him. Now it seems that responsibility has fallen upon you. I hope you will be more successful. Please, I want you to take this. Consider it as an apology to you for all the hardships you had to endure finding this place. Goodbye, human. Our time together has been rather Educational. Always a pleasure. So we gotta go back real quick actually. But I think we should be able to get out this way. That is incorrect. I really thought that uh, Ian and uh, Vance would say something to each other with some dialogue, but I guess not. I could have let them hash it out themselves, but I still chose nah for that one. Oh, hey Don't there. Don't even think of breaking into that. So we're just going to qu uh, quietly get on out of here. Go back to Evan. Tell him about our time here with the family and their hospitality. Triggered all the traps in the way here so I can't embarrass myself any further. I take that back. Oh, wait, just baseballs were good, I think. Oh, shit. into that. Gotta take that stim pack real quick. Not gonna sleep it off, am I kidding? Fuck me. This place is horrible.
too low on stim packs. It's not a good sign. Gotta fast travel back to Arafu. Arafu, my bad. The hero of the day. I know. I talked to Ian, and he told me everything you did. I don't know how you did it, but goddamn am I glad you walked up that ramp and lent us a hand. Thanks again, kid. Consider yourself welcome back here any time you're in this part of the wastes. Interesting. It seems they wish to enter into some kind of agreement. I guess it's better than pointing my gun down that ramp all day and hiding inside at night. Let Vance know he's got a deal. We'll do it. I'll speak to the others. I'm sure they'll agree with me. I've been saving up stuff for emergencies, in case things with Arafu got tremendously bad. You're welcome to some of it if you like. Come on back soon. I may have some stuff for you. So basically, once you complete this quest, uh, the reward from Evan is you get one free item one time of, I think, whiskey, beer, or wine, and maybe some scotch, and that's kind of it. Now, I think I played it right, and if you if you agree to, and if you agree to have the family defend Erifu from any threats, you can sell blood packs for 15 caps apiece. Well, now. If it isn't the little safe from the vault, we've been looking for you. Someone's put quite a price on your head. What? You think you can walk around the wasteland doing the things that you do and there isn't going to be someone who takes notice? Such a shame. I hear that you could have been something useful. Ah well, time to die. So this is Talent Company. They're a bunch of shit mercs that will actually, they're, they're not too easy actually. God damn, miss, make those shots, holy shit. Oh, there goes our three, son of a bitch. This just went from bad to worse. Um, weapons, 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 frag grenades. Dude, fuck off. You know, fine, you want to be this way, it can be this way. Here, asshole. Clean right off. Holy shit, did not expect that. Okay, now the guy with the combat shotgun's a problem. Alright. Dude, fuck off. Dude, make those shots! Make those shots! Holy shit! God damn. That's what I'm talking about. God damn, this, that was embarrassing again. My god. Gonna have to actually take this real quick. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't want to do it, but you guys made me. Well, there goes one of our followers that happened in a rush. That was really embarrassing, that whole ordeal. 
But man, missing all those shots. That was that was a killer. Was my point I was trying to make is that you can sell blood packs for 15 caps a piece to the family, I believe. So now I have to go back and find our former companion dead. I'm sorry, no, no, this is for you, bud. Rest in peace. So now we have to go back the way we came. Wait, not that way. What the fuck? Oh no, we did go the wrong way. But with that, we're gonna have a problem. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, I messed up big. I should have gone the other way around. Okay, well, I'll probably just cut this from the vid so you guys don't have to worry about it. Again, god damn it. We've had two followers now. Both of them have died. We have good karma. So our options are somewhat limited. But don't worry guys, I'll I'll work something out. Really? I still can't... Okay. I still don't get to do anything here. Nice to know. But anyway, like I was saying earlier, the main part of coming back here is... Or why I collect all those blood, pla blood, uh, blood bags since the beginning. Always a pleasure to receive... Is that you can now sell them to him. Excellent. I knew you would serve as an ambassador for us in good faith. I will dispatch Alan to Arafu immediately to help serve as their guardian and honor my end of the agreement. Your efforts surpass those of the average human. In fact, I feel almost like you are a member of our flock. If you ever wish to learn... Yeah, whatever. I can only offer my thanks. As compensation for your effort, allow me to at least give you something in return. So let's do the math here. Is working around the clock to return this country to great. So we gave him 24 blood bags and he gave us 360 caps. So, like I said, it does still equate to 15 caps per bag. And each blood bag is a pound, so it was taking up a lot of space in inventory, a lot of weight, but it's worth it now. And why the hell am I going this way? Gotta take that stim pack and call it a day. And with some of that money, I'll use it to buy more stim packs. Really, it's still... Okay, that's bullshit. Well, actually, believe it or not, that's all I wanted to... Oh, wait, never mind. I have to show you the shopkeeper here. If it wasn't for you, they'd be living in the waste. Nope. You always have. Where's Carl? Carl's the shopkeeper here, and he's supposed to... Have all the goods. So 
can't open that one. You got me there. Trust me, these darts will come in handy. Shay, with the ending, how much time we got left? Okay, we got a little bit. Alright, so basically what I'll do with the rest of this episode is... We'll leave this place, and then we can get started on... This main quest. And I'm going to bet, since we got our, our new perk, we can open up some new... Avenues to complete this quest. Before we would have to... What was I saying? Oh, my, my bad. Before we'd have to go and, like I said, go to that harlot in Springvale and worry about Moriarty. But now, because of this new perk, we're free as a bird. I'm watching that. I don't know for a fact because my memory's a little fit hazy, but I'm pretty sure we can just head up to Moriarty's bar and talk talk our way into skipping that whole part of the quest with, I believe, the same XP reward too. So actually, I'll cut right there. Alright guys, we are here back at Moriarty's. Once we go inside, I'm hoping that we'll be able to do or skip a large bulk of this quest with the same rewards. I forewarning, I do believe you'll need, well, if this works, you'll definitely need the Lady Killer perk. And there she is. Here we go, boys. Hey baby, what do you need? That stupid thing is his pride and joy. He keeps all of his dirty little secrets in it about everything that goes on in this godforsaken town. I once leaned on his shoulder when he was typing into it, and he got pissed off and pushed me to the ground. Hmm, I bet you want in. But enough about us. Here's the password. Just make sure he isn't around when you use it. Now I know because my science is high enough, I could have hacked it, but this was just a good use of the But I mean, this, this is also a good way to use the perk if you don't want to put what, what's, what's got a very hard terminal, if you don't want to put all that into science. What's it to be? A few caps to find out where your father went? Or are you going to have a go of it on your own? Uh, the wasteland. On uh, contraire, actually. Galaxy. Three. What the. Wait, what the. Wait, what? Hang on. Oh, fine, Galaxy News Radio. Oh, my bad, guys. Sorry. 
which is perfect. Well, I think we're going to leave off there for now, guys. And as always, appreciate you for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.